Hi guys, welcome back to another daily tarot card. These are your daily tarot cards for Thursday, October 14th, 2021. Throne Thursday. Today we're pulling from the Game of Thrones tarot cards. So we have the Nine of Coins. And I definitely feel like this is going to yesterday's cards. When I love the when tarot cards sync up with each other. I feel like they were saying there was the sunshine coming around the corner. And I feel like, you know, they were saying we're in an ebb of life. So I feel like with the nine of coins, they're saying this rebirth is happening. I feel like they're saying that I feel I love with the nine of coins, very empress energy. I feel like this is love. I feel like this is your karma coming back in. I feel like with the world being the second card, I feel like this is the ending of the ebb times. I feel like the flow is coming back. I feel like, you know, more possibilities are coming in. We see this with the lovers. We have travel on the horizon. So I feel like the lovers are saying that you may meet this person while you are traveling. So this may be a long distance relationship for a little bit. It looks like you guys are in different cities or it looks like you're in the same like state or province, but it looks like there's going to be like a couple hours uh, different. They're showing like 2.3. So, you know, somehow that'll make, you'll make that work. We have the three of spears. So we're a strong, independent individual. All three spears are standing strong. I feel like this is going back to the nine of cups or maybe even the nine of pentacles where it's your, your cup runneth over. Many blessings are coming in. All these ships are about to come in with no harm to none. So it's like we were sitting there with that ebb and we're like, we're losing everything. Everything is like kind of like with Cornucopia in the reverse. But if you go to yesterday's cards where he was bl blowing on the great shofar and he was in that meditated uh, stance where he was so sure-footed he could stand on one foot it's like all this you know stuff came out of the bottom like a cornucopia and it was like our ancestors of this lifetime and our past lifetime whoever we believe in is saying we're here to support you maybe your support system here on this earth is very small to none but they're saying look how many people support you on the other side of things keep setting out your manifestations today is 1221 you guys know i film ahead of time to keep up with readings but they were saying you know set out your manifestations take advantage of those times when you know the portal was open this weekend 10 10 you know today is 1221 take advantage of those days where you could set your attentions out to universe so they are crystal clear things can change on a dime things can change in a heartbeat it's like, okay, these things came in. Now what more do you want? Make it crystal clear what you want. You want money to come in? What is that money going to do for you? I want love to come in. What does that person look like? You know, I want to move. What does that home look like? Be specific as possible and write your intentions. If you're not able to, because some people are like, I'm working, I'm not able to talk to universe while you're working. You know, I'm not saying like, I'm talking to you right now in your head, you know, universe, you know, my, my student loans are really killing me. Bring me in some overtime. Bring me in some, you know, uh, some unexpected money. You know, some people sit there and they write the Garavoyank numbers on their hands or they use it as their cell phone unlock number. Whatever way resonates with you, bring that manifestations, that positivity, that even though we are going through this ebb, we, there is still hope. You know, going back to yesterday where they were showing me like this gentleman was in this box I know he's more intelligent than that because he's like that kind of intellectual person. But it's just like, you know, this box and the walls are closing in and it's like there's this door there. I know for a fact for like if in like if he was actually trapped in a room, he would check the door first. But I feel like Spirit is saying, you know, check that door. There's a door there for you while you feel claustrophobic, while you're feeling this anxiety, this depression, this fear, worry and doubt. And I'm presenting a door for you and you will not get crushed by these walls, you know? And I know it feels suffocating at the time. And I feel like universe is like, keep going. This is very much like the star card. If you follow the Game of Thrones, you know she was locked in this tower in this really disgusting situation. She lit this candle to bring in hope. This is our manifestations. The star card is all about, you know, peace and harmony being restored. The star card is all about calling in our guardian angels, protecting us at this time and answering our prayers. This is all about all of our manifestations, all of our prayers being answered. If not one, all of them. You see that with the many ships here. We have luck Jupiter twice with the wheel of fortune and the um, world. And this is, you know, turning in our favor. So this is very, very positive going from yesterday. Yesterday was very positive, but it was just... 
highlighted the circumstance that we were in. Exactly what they said. We sat there and go back to Wednesday's cards if you uh, haven't watched them yet. Or maybe you're waiting till uh, actually tomorrow. Because you guys know I'm transparent. So it's just like sitting there and saying, dang, you know, I wanted this new chapter. We all think it's going to be easy and bright and beautiful. And all this chaos happens and we're just like, what's going on? Change and transformation. It, you know, like retrograde has been kicking a lot of people's butts. You know, I was saying this when I was on, I think it was IG. And it's like the sky is literally falling on a lot of people right now. And it's like that compression, like in that box. And it's like, there's a door there. Go try the door. And I was saying to the universe, okay, I, I'm aware of this door. What door do I need to open? You know what I mean? And it's just, you know, I, hopefully the universe will answer that question. What is this door I'm supposed to open? Who, who am I supposed to ask for help? Where am I supposed to, you know, get this resource to help open this door? So we're going to start off with the nine of coins, according to the Game of Thrones. Fulfillment, comfort, prosperity, focus. The nine symbolizes satisfaction and prosperity. So, you know, if you've been lacking that, and that's what I feel like, there's an ending to this. Like, I feel like you've been, you know, consistently having something happen. This money flow. So maybe you're writing those Garibaldi numbers. Are you calling upon spirit to bring this constant flow of, of money? And it's just like all of a sudden it's halted. Or all of a sudden you feel insecure. You feel like you're suffocating. And it's like, you know, what what's going on here? Like, why is there such a sudden shift? Financial worries are over. We get that positive confirmation with the world. Projects get completed. And your efforts bring material benefits, including the finer things in life. You feel happy and at home with yourself. And any past sacrifices you have made feel worthwhile. Additional meaning, including redecorating and yard or garden projects. So this could be you getting ready for Halloween. Decorating the yard. Maybe you're getting ready for winter to come. You know, it could be, you know, whatever that work is. But I feel like, you know, keeping yourself busy and keeping our mind busy. You know, trying to get out that pent up energy because it's like, I can't put my, I can't put my finger on it. I can't keep still because I'm just, I'm trying to figure out the solution to this problem. You know, call upon the universe. We were talking about that earlier. Ask them for guidance. Ask them for deliverance. So the world, completion, success, reward, integration, expansion. So we are reborn into a new world. So I feel like we're reborn into a new situation. The world represents fulfillment and deserves success. This may be graduation, promotion, the completion of a landmark creative project, or celebrating any key anniversaries or births. Going back to Monday's cards, the gathering of people with the Three of Cups, and we're celebrating something here. In relationships and families, love flourishes and brings you joy. The card also heralds a time of expansion as futures plan takes seed. So we're sitting there, we're trying to make, you know, we're planting these seeds and we're trying to see what's going to flourish here. And what could we keep watering and what needs more watering? What needs more sun? What needs more fertilizer, plant food, coffee grounds, eggs? What, what we, do we need to feed here to make it grow more? The card also heralds a time of expansion as future plants take seed. You may travel or move into a new business and friendship circle. Spiritually, the card suggests oneness with the world, awards and gifts. So I feel like, you know, not only the nine of coins talk about, you know, this abundance coming in and this could be safety and security, you know, the, on an emotional sense. I feel like the world is saying that as well. This is the end of emotional chaos. This is the end of worry about finances. So we're going to go to the lovers. And I feel like for some of you, you have been calling in love, you know, and I feel like this is universe's way of saying, let your walls down, you know, let your walls down. They're standing on ice. We keep getting this winter, you know, um, scenery in a lot of cards. Yesterday it was the, the fog is beginning to lift from the mountains. Some of you are ascending to a higher peak. You know, maybe you thought you've reached your peak because you're, st you're stuck on this mountaintop and you're like, well, what, what, what now? And they're revealing that there's higher to go. Love, attraction, dissension, maturity, growth. The lovers bring love and decisions to, uh, to commit to a relationship or a new adventure with an open heart. So if we're starting something brand new, you know, it may get difficult, it may get slippery, you, you know, 
And you may want to give up because you're just like, this is just way too much. Keep going. It, it, it will be, it, it, I feel like it's just a lot. But keep going. It'll be worth it. Or to sacrifice an opportunity that cannot grow. Consider the long-term impact of your choices rather than short-term gain. If single, this card can pertain or predict a new partner. It, it can ask... It asks if you are ready for love. A choice between two loves. And I know it doesn't necessarily mean dating these two people. I feel like maybe you are still in love with someone from the past. Or you uh, are, are thinking about going back to them. And then someone else kind of presents themselves. And you're just like, hmm. You know? The, you know, Jeffree Star said it best the other day. Why take back something that the universe saved you from already? You know, so it's just like, I told the person, wait till retrograde is over and see what happens, you know, see where your heart is. So to the three of spears, strong, independent individual, all three spears are independent. Usually he's got his hand on one of them. The universe is like fully supported here. You know, this is going back to yesterday's card with, you know, he's looking out to his future. They are looking out to their future. You're looking out on your future. And they're, looking, they're saying, look at all these ships about to come in with no harm to none, you know? And it's like, look at all the ships that are about to come in, you know? I feel like they, you know, feel the, 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 the strength of the wind on your back, pushing you forward. Travel, action, manifestation, success, quirkiness. You are very close to your destination and your wish is manifesting now. This three reveals success and self-expression. So dreams begin to take form. A new project, romance, or trip materializes. So we get that with the first three cards already. Success and self um and um sorry um uh, where is it? Sorry, that really stuck out. Projects, romance, and and uh or trip materializes. I feel like this is like you're going on a trip for work or you're going somewhere. There's a purpose for this journey. Especially with all the restrictions, it's like you really need a purpose right now. And I feel like you're going there for a purpose and you actually something just falls into your lap. But it's up to you if you're going to have this come forward. This card can also predict a wedding. An additional interpretation is celebrating your uniqueness through creative projects or sports. Let the quirky talent shine. So this is encouragement to keep pushing forward, you know. I definitely feel like what they were saying, like feel the strong wind against your back. I feel like they're pushing you forward. I feel like your apprehension. He's standing at the edge of this, you know, shoreline looking over the future. And it's just like, look what's over there. You know, kind of like the eight of cups we got where they're saying, if your cup is not being filled, then maybe you're thinking about what, where, where do I go next? And I feel like, you know, an emotional situation. It's like, look what they have over there. I want to travel there, but maybe he's scared to, or they're scared to go over to the other side because it's like we don't know what's over there we don't know what awaits us and i feel like that's what stops a lot of us a lot of the time is that our fear worry and doubt get and stand in the way of a lot of us making that step so they said the longest what is it the longest journey starts with the first step something like that so we have the star setting our intentions setting our manifestations hopes wishes healing creativity inspiration guidance so adds up to the number eight, the number of change and renewal. So we get renewal twice, rebirth, renewal. We're getting, I feel like, you know, this could be a past love or this could be a, re, this could be a brand new love. The star asks you to keep the faith because opportunities, rewards will come. You follow a new direction in work, projects, and relationships. Spiritually, the card reveals guidance. You discover your life purpose. For some, this is the ability to heal others and yourself. For So they were talking about the portal from 3rd to 5th, 5th to 7th. The, you know, people were elevating. Going back to yesterday's cards that, you know, you were on this level and now you're plateauing to the next level. You may have come through a period of transformation and now sense the unfolding of new creative projects. Relationships are harmonious. And if you are looking for love, you are now ready to be with your soulmate recognition, luck, money. So I, again, I feel like that with the world turning or the world with the, with the world too, the wheel of fortune turning here, I feel like they're saying that this is all the things that are coming in, you know, this pain, this grief, this, you know, that has been going on here. 
this bereavement, whatever this is, is going on here. This, this loss, this abandonment, that this is for a purpose. You know, maybe this is your final let go here before you move forward. You know, you're feeling everything that you felt before. Fate, destiny, divine law, opportunity, luck, change. When everything improves, when the wheel of fortune is in your reading, finances, work, home, life, career, relationships, it, all, it also benefits from chance meeting. That's what this is, a chance meeting. And reconnecting with people who live far away from you. So obviously the situation with myself has arise. Do I really want to connect? Not really. But let's see what happens. You know, sometimes people deserve a chance and some people don't. Opportunities for success come your way. The card invites you to manifest your wishes through affirmations and action and to broaden your knowledge. Overall, you gain a wider perspective on your place in the world. Psychic work. So I feel, I love the fact that they were just like, you know, manifest your wishes. So, and I definitely feel like they're saying that, like, if you're unsure, I was the same way. I sat there and I saw people do many different things. Are they wrong? Absolutely not. That's what works for them. And I'm thankful that they shared those, um, you know, their, what they do, because it's like, how would you learn that suits you? If it's kind of like, you know, the, I was going to say the three little pigs again, <laughs> the three bears. It's like you have to taste the hot one. You have to taste the cold one before you know you like it lukewarm. It's just right. So it's just like when you manifest. Some people write it on a candle and burn it. Some people sit there with the tea light and burn it. Some people take pieces of paper and they burn it. Some people, I know uh, someone um, that sat there and wrote it on a paper plate and burned it in the fire. It's like there's so many different things that you could do. If it resonates with you and, you know, the first month and it feels right, Try it the second month and see what happens. If that was a good month, try it for the third month. See what happens and see what that will do for you and change for you and how it resonates with you. You know what I mean? If something has come in, be grateful for it. Sit there. Okay, what do you need now? We, we brought this in for you. What do you need now? So just know that the universe is abundant and that there's, something, there's a lot for everybody. You don't have to worry about what everybody else is doing. Worry about what you're doing. So I hope you guys enjoyed these daily tarot cards for Thursday, October the 14th, 2021. May the universe bless you good. We'll see you for the next daily tarot card. Bye.